Welcome. You're listening to The Aligned Self, conversations in creating a conscious and abundant life. This is Daniel DeNovi. I'll be your guide and host. Let's see just where we can take this. Hello, friend, and welcome into this Quotable Monday. Today I want to feature a quote by George Bernard Shaw. He was an Irish playwright. But this quote that I'm going to share with you is pretty much self-evident. I don't have to explain a lot because it actually represents a lot of the things that I talk about in this podcast, about the vibe and verb for life, the epic adventure, and how to be unreasonable. It also speaks to the idea that we create our reality, that our purpose is sourced from inner guidance, that we're inner directed. So without further ado, here is the quote. This is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one, the being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clod of ailments and grievances complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy, be inner-directed. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die, for the harder I work, the more I live. I rejoice in life for its own sake. Life is no brief candle for me. It is sort of a splendid torch which I have got a hold of for the moment. I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. And then, of course, I can't leave you with just one quote. I need to give you two quotes. So here's the second quote from George Bernard Shaw. The reasonable person adapts themselves to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to themselves. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable person. Be unreasonable. Most people do try to adapt themselves to the whole, to fit in, to change their behavior so they're acceptable to other people. They're not too loud. They're not too much. They're just enough to fly under the radar, to not cause too much of a rift on the ocean. They don't want to upset the boat. But in shifting and changing yourself to fit into other people's idea of what is acceptable essentially means that you are not living your true self. You're not here living out loud. You are not being the true expression of who you are meant to be. You are meant to be you. 100% unapologetically you. Do not adapt to the world. Make the world adapt to you. I'm going to read that first quote that I gave you one more time, just for good measure. This is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one, the being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clod of ailments and grievances complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for it what I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die, for the harder I work, the more I live. I rejoice in life for its own sake. Life is no brief candle for me. It is a sort of splendid torch which I have got a hold of for the moment, and I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. When you live your life according to a purpose by which you've determined is a mighty one, then you are a contribution to the whole. It is a mistake to think that playing small serves anyone. You are meant to live full out. You're meant to take the risk of living completely. 
arriving at your grave thoroughly used up. And I don't remember the person that quoted this, and it popped into my head, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the attribution. But it says, ships are safe in the harbor. But that's not what ships were designed for. They were designed to sail the open sea, to risk and discover new lands. Yes, they are safe in the harbor. But on the open sea, that's where the real adventure is. Until next time, this is your friend and host, Daniel DeNovi, urging you to follow your bliss. Live your life from inner signals. Be inner directed as you engage in the epic adventure. <laughs>